With two perfectly normal pregnancies under her belt, Solano County mom Estella Mendoza assumed her third baby would arrive just the same. So this wasn't even on your yeah, radar? Yeah. Wow. This, wow. Yeah, I didn't even expect that, that to happen to me. But last fall, she received a scary diagnosis. Her unborn baby boy had spina bifida. I started crying. I didn't know what to do. Spina bifida is a birth defect in which an unborn baby's spinal cord fails to develop properly. A baby born with spina bifida may have brain damage, be unable to ever walk, or have little to no control over their bladder and bowels. But the hope is that things will be better than expected. Fortunately for Mendoza, Dr. Shinjiro Hirose and his team at UC Davis Children's Hospital had recently launched a fetal surgery program and Mendoza qualified. Yeah, I was scared because they told me that maybe he will be born premature and most likely babies will die because they were born too early. Yeah. A lot of risk. Yeah, a lot of risk. But a risk you wanted to take. Yeah. Hirose performed the fetal surgery in November, a procedure that's nothing short of amazing modern medicine. We open the mother's abdomen, we open her uterus partially, and we try to expose as little of the fetus as possible. So we don't take the fetus all the way out, operate, and then put him or her back in. We just really take out or reveal the part of the fetus we need to operate on. Operate on the baby as quickly and as atraumatically, so with as little injury as possible put the baby back in, replace the amniotic fluid that we lose, close the uterus, and close the mother, and wake the mother up. Success! Mendoza gave birth to Alex 10 weeks later, just a month prematurely, by C-section. Her baby spent less than a week in the neonatal intensive care unit. Alex is actually doing very well. He avoided brain damage, and while he does need a brace to straighten his legs, his prognosis is better because of the surgery. It is amazing to think that we can really help some of these unborn children uh, with surgery and improve their outcomes afterwards. Is that amazing that medicine yeah, can do yeah. that? <laughs> she considers Alex a miracle and wants other pregnant women in her situation to know there's hope. That's right. Yeah? It's extraordinarily gratifying and it's very humbling to meet people like Estella. She, it's really the patients that make this whole work worthwhile. Hirose says donations are what made little Alex's life-changing procedure possible, but more work is needed to further improve the surgery and other babies' outcomes. Without donations, that research is impossible, and we would never have these kind of new technologies and new procedures to be able to help kids. Only a dozen locations nationwide offer this surgery. UC Davis Children's Hospital is one of them. They really took care, good care of me and my baby. A baby whose future is brighter thanks to those who donated. You're gonna do big things in this world, buddy? <laughs> the big future ahead of you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Becca Haviger, ABC 10 News.